Hello, and welcome to my first YouTube tutorial where I'm going to attempt to explain what bleed is, how to use it, and how to properly set it up in file for your printing projects. I've been in the printing industry for 10 years now as a prepress manager, and I can tell you that the number one problem and annoyance to us prepress techs is lack of bleed. So without further ado, let's delve into it. To understand bleed, we have to understand trim and margin. These are fairly simple concepts once we understand the fundamentals. So what is trim? Trim is the size of your final piece. If you are printing a standard business card, your trim size would be 3.5 by 2. If you're printing a standard flyer, your trim size would be 8.5 by 11. If you're printing a standard postcard, your trim size would be 5.5 half. No brainer. Next, what is margin? Margin is the size of the space between your trim and any important element, such as type, an image, or anything else you don't want cut off in your final print. Margin size varies quite a bit depending on project and design, but you should always have at least an eighth of an inch margin on anything you don't want cut off. Piece of cake. Next, bleed. What is bleed? Bleed is the amount of extra artwork that bleeds past your trim line. Now I know what you're thinking. Why in the hell would I want anything past my trim line? Well, I'll tell you. When your piece is printed, it is printed with the extra artwork along all four edges. Once it's finished and the ink is dried, it's given to the cutter operator. The cutter operator cuts your print to trim size and cuts off the bleed, thereby making your artwork go to the edge of the sheet without any white space. If you don't add bleed to your file, you run the risk of having your print under trimmed, cut smaller than your trim size, or having unintended white space along the edges. Uh, the standard industry bleed size is an eighth of an inch and I wouldn't go any smaller. So let's take a look at how this is set up in InDesign. Okay guys, so let's launch our InDesign application. Now I'm using InDesign CC, but it doesn't matter what version you have, it's all pretty much the same um, as far as this goes anyways. Okay, so we're loaded up. Now to start a new document, we are going to hit Apple N for a new document or go File, New Document. Same thing. So, in here we see page size. Now this is the trim size, okay? So again, if we're gonna do flyer, we do eight and a half by 11, business card would be three and a half by two, so on and so forth. So let's do three and a half by two, we'll do a business card. Now with the business card, um, because it's such a small space, we're gonna probably want eighth inch uh, margin. And bleed is always an eighth of an inch unless it's a special project that requires more but never go under an eighth so there we go now if we want we can preview to see how it's going to look before we actually uh we actually okay it but that looks good so we hit okay zoom out a little bit now when you're in indesign you can hit w which is going to show you your trim size what it's going to be when it's cut okay and you can hit w again and you can toggle that on and off so Let's say we're going to make a business card and we're going to have a light blue background. Now, 99% of the time when somebody sends a printer a business card and they want it to bleed, you know, with a blue background like this, they are going to send it just like this. Let's see, three and a half by two zero and zero they're gonna send it just like this and they're gonna you know send it and they're gonna want their business card printed with the you know the blue to the edge with no white and we're gonna say well you know we need more of that blue in order to get you that edge like if that makes any sense um so what all you got to do is just, is just you know give yourself an eighth of an inch bleed and it's that it's that simple guys Okay, so there, now you have an eighth inch, and when you cut it, you know, you'll have that bleed to the edge. Um, now the margin's important, and uh, let's, let's just, let me give you an idea what I'm talking about here. So let's say, Jeremy, let's say this is some type I wanted in there. Now, you know, cutting for a printer, it's, you know, we can get pretty exact, but it's never exact, that's why you need margin. So... If you were to set up the file like that, you know, half of your business cards are going to have 
are going to look like this when they're cut because you didn't give us enough space. So we need the exact, you know, at least an eighth of an inch. Now, let's say that you have your business card design. You know, it's awesome. Hopefully it looks better than mine here. And uh, you're ready to send it off to the printer, okay? Now, I, think, I feel like a lot of the reason why people don't add bleed um, is because they don't necessarily know how to export it with bleed. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So once you've got your business card designed or whatever you're working on, you are going to go File, and you're going to hit Export. And we're going to say Business Card with Bleed. Okay. And we're going to hit Highest Print Quality. And in here, uh, you're going to say Do Not Downsample, Do Not Downsample, do not down sample. And we're going to our marks. Now, do not add marks for a printer. Okay? Don't do it. I know it, it may seem like it's a good idea, but all they do is they get in our way. All we want is bleed. So, all you have to do, because we set up the eighth of an inch when we first uh, set up the file, all we have to do is say, use document bleed settings. And it's going to say, I already know that it's an eighth of an inch. And it's going to fill it in automatically for you. And you don't have to worry about anything else up here. And you're going to hit export. Now, if we open our business card with bleed, we will come down to see the size. And you see it's not three and a half by two. It's actually three and three quarters by two and a quarter. And when we trim it, we will trim it to three and a half by two. And that pretty much does it for bleed, guys. Uh, it's it's pretty simple. And, and, I, and I hope this video has helped uh, helped you. Um, get a better understanding of of what bleed is and and uh, how to add it to your files. So uh, yeah, thanks guys.